Wait, what? It's not that big a deal. I mean, Jin Yang can just take Ehrlich's old room, so. I don't give a fuck about that. So Jin Yang said Gavin Belson tried to buy our stolen software? Yes, but before he could, he was outmaneuvered by a Chinese man named Yao. Yao? Who the fuck is Yao? This guy. He's a Chinese manufacturer who just announced a partnership with guess who? Lori Bream. She just led a $200 million round for something called YaoNet. So Lori and Yao are manufacturing phones and signing them onto our network. But why? Why would they want to help us? Oh, shit. They're not helping us. They're attacking us. It's a 51% attack. Has to be. Oh, I'm sorry, what? A 51%? A 51% attack. The beauty of our decentralized internet is that no one controls it. But if 51% were controlled by one entity, like say, Lori and Yao, they could rewrite the rules for everyone. They can delete all of our users, all of our developer apps, crash our coin. This would be the end of Pied Piper. Fuck. Okay, how many devices do they have? Right now, they have 45% of our total and gaining. Wait, Guildfall, could you write a patch that kicks all of Yao's users off the network? I would have to rewrite our consensus protocol, but I could probably get that done in eight hours. Okay, that's good. And, and how long do we have till we lose control of the network? At this rate, half that. This <sighs> <sighs> went for a run. <sighs> I sprinted. I need an open palm. Uh, what's going on? Richard, there's no easy way to say this. Jin Yang is moving back into the house. R right? 